everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. I am finally back, everyone. Sorry for the hiatus. It was mainly because of being without a computer, which of course I had to wait a while for it to come since it was a custom built gaming machine, which I'll talk more about once I review it in a upcoming video. First off, this week Niantic has announced a lot. So we're going to start with the 6th anniversary event, which of course will kick off next week on Wednesday, July 6th at 10 a.m. and will end in two weeks on Tuesday, July 12th. 8 p.m. local time. And of course, for the first time ever, you'll be able to evolve your party hat Charmander into Charmeleon and Charizard. And they'll also be available as shinies. And same thing with the new costume hat Pikachu. And of course, the following Pokemon you'll be able to get in the wild are all the Kanto starters, including Party Hat Charmander, Cake Costume Pikachu, and of course, the other following Pokemon that you'll be able to get from Kanto to Kalos as Shinies include Machop, Ladybot, Rolts, Beninary, Bunnelby, and Litleo. The following Pokemon that will be encountered in the wild from Unova to Alola that will not be available as shinies include Venipede, all three Kalos starters, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie, and of course Peaky Peck. And you will also be able to get Gobbite, Claw Launcher, and Helio Eptile. Of course, those three will not be available as shinies for the said event. In one star raids, you'll also be able to get Cake Costume Pikachu as well as Dratini. Three star raids, Venusaur, Party Hat, Charizard, Blastoids, Tyranitar, and Metagross. And of course, for five star raids, you'll be able to get Zapdos, which of course, Zapdos is one of the three Cantonian legendary that will be as legendary raid bosses for the month of July, which I will talk about later on in this video, along with Sinnoh's Dialga. And of course, we're also going to be getting Mega Charizard X and Y. And for field research, you'll be getting all the starters from Kanto to, to um, Unova as Shinies. The starters from Kalos to Alola will not be available as Shinies. And of course, you'll be able to get normal Charmander without the party hat in field research encounters. And you'll also be able to get new stickers and avatar items for your avatars. There will also be a battle weekend during that time frame featuring a new special research event with Team Go Rocket and Shadow Latios. The three new shinies will be I'm not saying I'm not, excuse me, I'm not meaning to say shinies, I meant to say three new shadow Pokemon will be Geodude, Shinx, and Pearly Loin, which will be available through Rocket Grunts. As of this recording, I do not know what Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra will be carrying with them once you defeat them as potential shinies. In other Pokemon news, also announced this week will be Berlin Go Fest, which of course by the time this video is released, this video will be up on YouTube. And we're also getting an Ultra Unlock, which of course 
will definitely upgrade your 6th anniversary event experience in the game. And there will be some Pokemon from GoFest in Berlin that will be available as part of a collection challenge or two. And the global challenge involves defeating enough Go Rocket Grunts, which will not only un unlock the Ultra Unlock bonus for the anniversary event, but also Battle Weekend, thus making these two in-game events more fun and much better than the default features that we're getting for these events. And of course, for the month of July, as I already mentioned, Zapdos will be available from July 7th to the 14th, but of course, starting tomorrow until the 7th, we are getting Articuno, and then on the 14th to the 22nd will be Moltres, and then from the 22nd to the 31st, Dialga. As I already mentioned, we're getting Mega Charizard X and Y, which of course, tomorrow will be Mega Charizard X, then next Thursday will be Mega Charizard Y, and then in two weeks, Mega Pidgeot, and then for the final Friday of the month of July will be Gengar, all as Mega Raid Bosses. And of course, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and Dialga will have their respective raid hours. One more thing. As I mentioned earlier about my hiatus, it was mainly because of technical issues. I am going to be back to making videos, but in regards to me live streaming, that's going to take a while because I have to... Um, upgrade my computer so if I do stream it might be limited because of these reasons as I still have yet to get more memory for my brand new computer as of this recording but stay tuned for a for a review of my brand new computer here on this YouTube channel thanks for watching everyone you can also follow me on Instagram Twitter Facebook Twitch and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!